Good morning, first graders. Today we're gonna keep uh, learning about the monarch butterfly and get your notebooks and pencils ready so we can take some notes while we're learning. Remember to keep your science notebook out and pay attention to the teacher. We are gonna be learning a lot today. So today's science instruction is gonna be the life cycle of a, a butterfly. So we're gonna learn about the four stages of life. As you can see, remember what we just learned yesterday. So we took notes and we write it on the sticky notes. So pay attention to the whole instructions because we are gonna be just learning of more about the life cycle of a butterfly. The first stage is the egg. The adult butterfly lays the egg on a leaf or a branch where they are going to be safe. Okay, pay attention to the uh, pictures. I want you to um, draw what you see. So this is the second stage. The egg hatches into the caterpillar. This is stage. The caterpillars are very tiny. So keep it in your notes. After the, they grow inside the egg, this is a new caterpillar. This is the baby. And look at here. Now she is going out. What do you think she's going to? Carla, can you tell me what are you thinking? You are correct. Yes, I love how you are thinking on, she's looking for mommy or maybe she's hungry. We'll see later. This is a third stage. Once the larva, once the lar uh, larva uh, hatches from the egg, they continue to eat, grow and grow. The caterpillar shed their skin. Uh, often, as they grow bigger and bigger, the caterpillar leaves his um, the skin off. Like in here, as you can see, the caterpillar is growing bigger and bigger because. Uh, she or he is eating a lot of uh, food. Um, Maria, what do you think the, the leaf is eating? Oh, yes, you're correct. Maybe she's eating some uh, leaves. And over here, as you can see, the caterpillar is leaving some of the, the skin off. Some of the skin is taken off. You can see the difference through the, the three little caterpillars shown. And remember, my little ones, you paying attention of those colors. We need to be drying, paying attention to hair. So look how the caterpillars bright, black and yellow colors. Remember what colors? Can you just repeat after me? Black and yellow colors really bright. Those are the colors from caterpillar. Okay, I'm gonna give you a moment. So go ahead, keep trying. Well, I want you to keep looking on these pictures. This is the fourth stage. During this stage, the caterpillar is fully grown and now it's ready to start forming a chrysalis. Chrysalis means she's gonna start building their own home. She's gonna protect herself with this kind of skin that she's gonna start building. During this stage, uh, it's also known as a pupa. 
the pupa is a little house where they cannot be protected, okay? And see how now the caterpillar is hanging down. I love how Jose said that she is doing tricks. Yeah, she or he can be doing tricks, but actually this is what the caterpillars do to be ready to build the house. Look at the second uh, picture. Look up here. This is what she's gonna, or he's gonna start building the house. And look how it's working. We don't know how long it's gonna take, but she is just persistent. Remember what we learned yesterday, persistency. So this is a persistent um, caterpillar building a house. And see, now you can, it's almost there. Now oh, here it is complete, it's safe. Now it's time to sleep. It's gonna be something inside, something is going on. What do you think is gonna come out from there? Well, remember, teacher Anajeli just asked you a question. Write down what do you think is going to happen, okay? And teacher Anajeli is going to continue with the next step. This picture shows the changes that happen during the stage. You will notice the chrysalis starts off, become clear. Watch the beautiful butterfly hash from its crystallis. Okay. So in here is the crystallis. As you can see, it's still inside. Now, look how it's coming out slowly. Uh, it's pulling uh, down. And then the other picture is showing you the pro, it, it continues to show you the process is going through. And then look at the different pictures it shows uh, as the butterfly comes out from the Crystals. Well, teacher Anajeli, uh, Thelma is asking why the pupa now changed colors? Why now is so clear? Because in the last picture it was blue, that's what she said. Uh, because also and the crystal, it, it becomes is trans when the butterfly is transforming into a butterfly and that's why it's changing the, the color of the little pupa. Yeah, and remember, once the butterfly comes out to the chrysalis, the butterfly must wait for its wings to dry before it can fly. So look at these second pictures. See how it's coming out and look at the winds. And look how they, when they uh, are getting dry, also the colors change. So keep looking at it and you can see the difference. Now it's dry and it's beautiful. That means it's ready to fly. So who can tell me what color is the butterfly? Remember when we saw the caterpillar growing, what were the colors? Are they the same color or are they different? Thank you, Jose. Teacher Anajeli, Jose already answered your question. He noticed that now it's not yellow, right? Now it's kind of orange. Good job, Jose. So now let's review with at the beginning, we say the first stage was the egg. Now, follow my arrows. This is the larva. Mm -hmm. When eggs hatch, the larva, this is how we call the young insect, the caterpillar, came out and was just there until she start eating too many leaves. Remember the Hungry Caterpillar book we just read this morning? Yes, this is what happened. And I love how you guys make that connection. So now it's growing and growing and it's gonna change its skin. So that means it's gonna be leaving a skin behind while she moves out to look for more food. Until it's time for the chrysalis stage. 
So that means it's gonna build the house. And remember how we call? Thank you, Marisol. Pupa, we call pupa because now it is a stage where the um, caterpillar is gonna transform itself inside the chrysalis. When it's ready, we already see how the clear pupa, the color change, and the beautiful butterfly came out from there. So it's now, when it's now her turn to fly, and this is how we love to see them outside. Well, the other butterfly stays on the leaf until the winds dry. They already fly, that becomes an adult. And remember the adult butterflies, it starts the life cycle all over again. Because this beautiful butterfly is gonna lay their own eggs. Remember how many eggs we say they lay? Yes, I love it, 400. Oh, 500, we not sure, we never count butterflies eggs, but we cannot go outside today during our um, recess time to look for some eggs of butterflies in the, um, in the leaves around here on the playground. Anything else, teacher and Jelly, you wanna add? Remember the uh, the parts of the motor uh, of the butterfly, because uh, then we're gonna ask you uh, to review and writing in your journals what you guys learned through this lesson. You already hear the channel, Jelly. Just look at here. So the first question we have is. How a caterpillar becomes a butterfly? Who can tell me that? You can raise your hand. Remember, Teacher Anajel is waiting for you. Or I can be here listening for your answers too. Okay. Oh, you're... oh go ahead, Teacher Anajeli. Oh, thank you, um, Jasmine, for, for your answer. That is right. Okay, next question, pay attention. Have your hand ready to raise it. When you know your question, when you know the answer, I want you to practice. Remember how we're practicing? You put your finger over to your chest and that means you know the answer. If you're still thinking, just put your finger over your head, okay? I wanna keep looking for those. So how many stages in the life of the butterfly are? Oh, I love, see so many thinking minds right now going on. What's going on in the room? You guys are thinkers, okay. Yes. Um, go ahead, teacher and Ajeli. We have them already ready with the answers. So let's go to the next question. The third question will be, what are the names of the four butterfly cycle? Oh, thank you. Oh, I see uh, a lot of you guys showing your hand that you know the answer. Who can tell me one of, one of them? Oh, Oh, that's right. Thank you for, for sharing with us. One of the stage they mentioned was an egg. That... So now let's think about it. We have the egg. So what happened after the egg hatch? Yep, too many minds thinking. I love how you have your finger on your head. Please write down your answer. We cannot compare later. Go ahead, teacher Anayeli. What happened after the egg hatches to the caterpillar, after the caterpillar comes out? I'm gonna give you guys a minute to think and show me with your hand. 
Oh, I see a lot of you guys thinking. Um, okay, this is, the, this is the last question, okay? When the chrysalis becomes clear, what happened next? Mm -hmm. Marisol, have the hands up. So go ahead, you the first one. So go ahead and give me your answer. Yeah, she said that the beautiful butterflies came out ready to fly. And I love that. Look at the picture. Now look at the picture because I need you to write it or try to draw it in your science notebook, okay? Remember, this is my caterpillar. You see? This is my caterpillar. And you can also see the shadow caterpillar. It's a beautiful butterflies inside of that caterpillar. It's going to be the metamorphosis. Remember, this is a transformation. It's going to happen to that caterpillar. In here, we're gonna go into a, uh, a book. It's gonna take us for a book to, for us to read to each other. Teacher Maria, can you open the, the link? Yeah, so remember this link is gonna be on your file from homework. So you can also share this book with your family. And this is gonna be part of your homework for reading tonight. So have um, your family around you, anybody remember, grandma, grandpa, sisters, brother, baby brother, you can even read to you, um, rabbit. I know it's fun. So let's do this. The life cycle of a butterfly, and then you have to pay attention, okay? This book is going to help you to, to remember what we just have learned. And to have a better visual of the steps that, that it takes a butterfly to grow out of a caterpillar, the transformation it takes. Oh, in the blue table, they say that they can see the, butter uh, the butterfly but they also can see how the pupa is still green. Like we just have learned. So we're gonna give all your points out. If you recognize the stage of the butterfly's life cycle. Aha, uh -huh. it's another one. Okay, we have to uh, stop right here, but remember keep it attention, keep attention on these pictures. This is not fiction picture, so this is a real picture. And we already talked about that last week, non-fictions and fictions books. So this book is a special because it's like combination of both. Uh, so please take your time, read. What is gonna happen after you read? Teacher and Ajeli, you wanna remind them what's gonna happen when they read it? Uh, we're gonna text, um, test your the knowledge of what you, you learn through the lesson and through reading this book. Uh, this book is gonna help you uh, have a visual and understand each of the stages that a butterfly has to, to, to go through for in order to grow and to become that beautiful um, butterfly. And the most exciting thing, you can have reading a word. So if you wanna get more than one award, you have to work for it. Remember, you can get two prizes. You can get two reading awards one for reading the book to family and another one to write the main idea or another uh, option can be uh, ask, ask your parents, what do you think, what you have learned and then you write that down 
for me. And tomorrow we can exchange and I'm, I can give you your uh, reward, okay? Anything else, teacher and Ajeli, before we go? Thank you, and I hope you guys have liked the lesson. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I love how you were sitting, Tomorrow. paying attention, and also you were respectful. So I just so proud of this class.